We'll do consent agenda, um, approval of minutes, and I, I wanted to we okay, approval There's four of items minutes, under consent. Educational tour we talked about student handbook, and and we talked about student handbook before. I kind of want to revisit that and maybe. Maybe you can give us kind of a recap of what we talked about because I, I think it's a good, valid point. Yeah, so on the student handbook, there was the one-page summary and the addition. So what I'm asking is that the one particular addition they wanted to add, we not add. That was the, so that was not submitted, but Wes updated me. Can you show it what was, page we're talking about here, please? Yeah, so um, we're, um, it, it's on it's in our packet um, it's on that page with the handbooks where where is the with the handbooks 86, 86. it's page 86 because we've gone back and forth let me just well 86 find. is where the summary is yeah where's the summary page 86 that's what I'm looking for okay so uh, and I I will give you the reason why I just want to find 86. Okay, 86 and 87. Is the first one, what Laura, okay. from what Wes shared with me this afternoon. 86. So it's exam just. Exam exemptions. Yeah. The very yes, top it's, left. Pages 13 and 14, modified language E. A student who has zero code of conduct violation. Right. And so I'm asking that we not add that language, that students who have zero code of conduct violations. And the reason why. That code of conduct applies to athletes or people who are in competitions. It applies to them on weekends, in the summer, if they're at their cottage, it applies 24 seven, which is kind of a different set of scrutiny than other students who may not be in a sport here, but in a sport somewhere else or whatever. And so that is a different uh, requirement that that student has that the other students don't. So where a student who's in a sport may have had an altercation, and because if you look at the code of conduct, a student could swear at a, at a professor in a heat of rage and, and get a code of conduct and say, well, you know, I'm sorry, you know. And that would follow them and there are consequences for that there's some you know loss it could be mitigated but that would follow them whereas a student who is not in a sport could have the same incident and they would not be precluded from this exemption from their exam so Wes, Wes, well, let me finish please okay. while looking through the student handbook there are multiple sources of discipline there are three places and next year when we're done with the vision we'll come back to this handbook there's the policy 7.5 something where there's all these different things that if students do there are consequences and that applies to all students there are the pillars that apply to all students and there are consequences so in the student handbook there are three additional sources of cause and effect for behaviors that are equal to all students so I would just like to not have this as um, being part of whether or not you can have an exam exemption because I don't think it's fair. So Does that make I sense? have a couple of questions. One, you need to move them to get this out of the consent right. calendar. That would be the <laughs> first. That's an operation. We need to do right. that before That's we can have this discussion. That's a procedural. Yes. Mm -hmm. So do you want to make a move to remove, remove this from the consent calendar? Well, or we can keep it in the consent with this modification that we just don't add this line. I don't think you can keep it in the consent. I think we're having a discussion about it now. That kind of defeats the purpose of being in the consent. Okay. Right. Correct. So it needs to be voted on separately. Yeah. Okay. Right. But that's fine. Because that's what we agreed to about all these, the first mm -hmm. read, second read. So, right? So now that has to be removed procedurally. Mm -hmm. Okay. So... Wes brought this up to me. We always meet prior to the meeting at 6 o'clock, so this is the first I've heard of it. I, try, I did get a hold of Dave. I think the concern is valid. Um, you know, right. obviously... Time out. Yeah. Can we just time oh, sorry, get out? Laura needs to make a yes. motion. Okay. Move it from the consent. Okay, so I move that we pull the student handbook from the consent agenda. Second. Second, Second time, Jacobs. And we'll do. You're just doing all in favor. Yeah. All in favor. Uh, yes. Aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. 
Right. Thank All you. opposed? So, okay. <laughs> and then I guess what would happen is, are there any other items that people want pulled from the consent? Well, that would be what they would do in a typical right. meeting. So, okay. And okay. then typically we would vote on the consent and then go back to it. We'll vote on this separately. Yeah.